Today I'm standing in Bedford View and we are going to be exploring a 15.9 million rand, four bedroom, four bathroom, four car garage home that is nothing short of a marble palace. My name is Chad Rivera, and this is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. We come to this first room, double wooden doors opening inwards onto an informal TV room. Now, a couple of stunning things to talk about in this TV room. One, the flooring, two of the lights, and you can see the chandeliers really playing off this light marble floors. We've got two doors opening up completely, both of them clad in glass, letting out onto your front patio. We're gonna get to that in a moment, but this is a TV room, plenty of space here. Space for you to do with it as you will. Design it how you like, but it is perfectly placed and perfectly designed for a TV room with its very own balcony right of here. Now, this is a beautiful balcony that lets you really enjoy the tranquility that is living in an area like Bedford View. Even though it is a balcony, plenty of lighting built into the ceiling, and then you'll see all the pillars, which carries on the design theme of inside the house, wrought iron railings. You've got a beautiful spiral staircase coming up to that front door that we just walked through. In front of me is your opening that, uh, that is your front gate. And then just underneath me is a four car garage. Now those four car garages goes all the way the length of the house. And again, you won't have to walk out into the elements because it does come up through a staircase that we're gonna look at right now. But first, let's check out that four car garage coming through these double doors again. You find yourself in that stunning entry hall. On my left is your guest bathroom. Now your first guest bathroom has a single vanity, beautiful basin, under counter storage, toilet in the corner, and then sandstone walling really does complement the design of the rest of the house with those neutral tones. And now that we've got the bathroom out of the way, we come to those incredible steps that lead you down to a four car garage. Not often do you find a stairway like this that leads down to a garage area, but again, the lighting in here, incredible, stunning chandelier, wrought iron railing leading downstairs. And again, you'll never need to worry about getting rained on while carrying your groceries because coming up the stairs, you find yourself again into this beautiful well lit house. Now, through another set of stunning double doors, all of them inlaid with glass, you find yourself in this room here. Right now, it's currently being utilized as a gym area, but could easily be turned into an office. And with views of your outside backyard, really, you don't get much of a better office. On my right hand side, some built-in cupboards. So if you'd like this to be a room, it does function like that. Again, you've got access to that guest bathroom. Plenty of space here, lots of light coming through. Not only these double doors, but also a set of windows over there. But taking a step out, here it is, your outdoor area. Now, this outdoor area, again, fully equipped. My left-hand side, Briar was built in rotisserie, stackable aluminum doors, frame of this area right over here. And if I pass through these pillars, you'll see another set of stackable aluminum doors that closes off this area. So you've got that seamless indoor, outdoor living. And not just one set of stackable doors, but two, because again, you can close off your house to your outside area. So I love that that's been included. Walking this way, you've got your pool, the water feature, spacious pool, but an even more spacious deck, wooden deck for you to sit down and enjoy the outdoors and enjoy the sunshine that does cascade down into this section of the house. You've got a whole bit of paved area here for you to play with and again, design how you like. And if you come through over here, you find yourself was in your full-on enclosed bar area. No entertainment area really is set out well, unless it's got a bar and not many bars come more 
let's say fancy than this, more spiffy than this. You've got one, two, three trophy cabinets. You can see the current owner of the house is quite a dab hand at playing golf, but what a beautiful bar. Again, that marble design continues with the top of the bar. You've got lighting built into this section of here, and then a full kitted out bar area just behind it with all the appliances and even a sink that you could ever want in a bar. Stunning chairs, and then plenty of space for you to maybe put in foosball table or anything else if you'd like those bar games. Now this bar area can be accessed either from your section over there, the outdoor paved area, or from the dining room area, because again, people who want to drink might want quick access to a bar. This bar also does come with its very own toilet just to the right hand side, so you're not going to have to walk far before you can continue with your festivities. But now we get to take a look at the dining room area. You can see there is plenty of space in this dining room area. Beautiful lighting as well as LED lighting in the bulkhead ceiling and plenty of space. 10 seater dining room table fits with ease and lots of space on either side. So traffic through here will not be a problem. But this dining room table or this dining room area, this living area comes with so much more because if we pass these two pillars, we find ourselves in a formal sitting area that again is clad beautifully, not only with the lighting and the ceiling elements, but marble floor and then a marble feature wall of a darker marble built into that feature wall. Not only space for you to hang a TV, but a gas brine. Another cool feature here is we've got these two windows built into the wall, looking out onto your front door and that double staircase that goes up to the upper level. I love it. I also love that it's got access to your outside area. Then coming along this way, like any dining room area, you've got to have quick and easy access to your kitchen. So we're going to travel forward and take a look at what walking into a kitchen in a 15.9 million rent home looks like. And here it is, the kitchen in a 15.9 million rent home. Tons to talk about. One, plenty of cupboard space. We've got these wraparound cupboards here, almost framing where your fridge is going to go in. Double door fridge, beautiful lighting. You've got your center island table. And then we've got some display cabinets all with all that inlaid glass and the display lighting. So you can light up all of your cool cups. Now, when we're not talking about cabinetry or places for you to put your appliances, we've got this cool little door over here, also inlaid with glass. This leads out onto your prep area. So you've got your double sink there, all the space for your appliances, and another door that goes off to your laundry area with access to the backyard around the house. The cool bit of that, that I have to admit, if we come through in the main kitchen area, is you've got this pass-through here. So if you are hiring people to, to entertain your guests, I really like that you can get the food pass-through here, put it down onto the display cabinets, and take it through to all your guests that are sitting at that stunning dining room table. More stunning things in this kitchen, I'll have to admit, is this beautiful beautiful marble really deep set marble i don't think it's going to come across on camera as nice as it is in person and all the more reason to take a look at this house in person book your viewing now siemens appliances throughout you've got your extractor fan your cooktop as well as your oven you've got your siemens microwave all the storage cabinetry laid out in dark wood tons of lighting coming from this hanging lighting i love the wood built into the ceiling and then if you're looking to have a quick breakfast with family either you can do it right here at this breakfast nook again the same marble as the rest of the house i really like that touch or at bar seating if you'd like oh on a beautiful day like this and i love the window over there looking out onto the front on a beautiful day like this you can come outside enjoy the sunshine these blue skies we've got another built-in breakfast table right over here on this balcony marble runs even across here looking down onto the front of your house and you can enjoy breakfast with friends family i love that the kitchen has got its very own balcony but let's head back inside let's go to the front of the house and then let's journey upstairs and take a look at what the bedrooms look like now that we've come out the kitchen, we're back at this beautiful double staircase. Again, all of it clad in marble as well as wrought iron. But here we are with this little section under here under the staircase. I love that they've got lighting built in almost throughout the staircase. Really does make this an art feature. But I'd like to know in the comments, what would you call this? Your drinking nook, your tea nook. I can imagine myself sitting here, that fireplace roaring behind me that you can see through these glass windows, enjoying a book, enjoying a conversation. I love this section. I'd love to know what it's called. Is there a professional name for it that I haven't heard of? in the comments i'd love to see what you guys say but here it is a double staircase it is the epitome of mansion of luxury living when you've got a double staircase this flared opening marble running all the way up and as you walk up the staircase you're greeted by this massive window it really does tell you you're in somewhere special and now coming up the staircase, we get to finally take a look at what the upstairs section of this house has to offer. Four bedrooms all located upstairs. The first one being right in front of me. Let's take a look. 
Walking into your first bedroom, you're greeted by stunning dark wood floors matched by all your cabinetry within this bedroom. Plenty, plenty of space. You've got a bulkhead ceiling with LED lighting. And then each bedroom in this home does come with its very own ensuite bathroom. This bedroom, however, not only comes with an ensuite bathroom, but a massive balcony looking over the front of the house. You've got your very own aircon, and then you've got that ensuite bathroom. A stunning ensuite bathroom, clad in red marble, bulkhead ceiling with some LED lighting above you, toilet, walk-in shower that is absolutely massive with your own area to sit down and relax under that stream of water. Single vanity, under counter storage, and then that bathtub. Incredible bathtub fitted with your very own jacuzzi jets. Now that we've got the first bedroom wrapped up, we're heading off to the second, but you'll see I'm standing here right by the staircase and upstairs is something very special that we'll be saving for the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. We've got a linen closet right over here, the lighting built into crystal wall sconces. And here it is, the second bedroom again. Your second bedroom has its very own outside balcony. This balcony, however, leads off to the office, but take a look at all the space of here. Again, bulkhead ceiling, once again, servers with an aircon, plenty, plenty of covered space matching this warm wood flooring that I love, how it contrasts with the marble behind me. You can see you've got a window letting in a lot of natural light. If you're not just getting your natural light from that aluminum framed outside area. And then on my right hand side, you've got your ensuite bathroom, like every single bedroom in this home has. Let's take a look at that as well. Then to my right, you've got your ensuite bathroom. This time, what it has is your single vanity under counter storage, no bathtub. However, you still do have that stunning walk-in shower. So much space in there. And again, that touch of red marble again, matching the flooring and the wood accents. Love how warm the upstairs section feels. But now it's time to explore that balcony. And here we are, outside balcony area. I love it, lots of wrought iron looking out onto that pool and that stunning water feature, but it is a massive, massive outside balcony. You see, I'm looking upstairs because there's some cool stuff up there. But again, like I said, we'll leave it to last. We went back to that marble. We've got awnings over both openings, both openings also being aluminum, so you know that these things are built to last a lifetime. But here's your office. Beautifully located office, if I do might say. I'm sure you can also use this as another bedroom if you'd like to, however, it's not really built for that. Plenty of space here, you'd need to rip out your cabinetry, and this is stunning cabinetry, all of it built in, glass on all of it, displaying your encyclopedias. You know you've made it in life when you've got encyclopedias in your office, and you definitely know you've made it in life when you've got an office this large, stunning desk, yeah, that's how much space it is. Windows looking down onto your garden, You've got your aircon, again, servicing this room. And like any office, when you've made it in life, you've got your very own bathroom. This bathroom, again, walk-in shower, no bathtub, but you've got your single vanity. You've also got your toilet, and then you've got extra cupboard space right over here in case you do want to turn it into a, uh, an another bedroom. Now, talking about bedrooms, we've got storage space. So in this room right over here is what we could call a walk-in closet. You've got tons and tons of cupboard space for all, all, all of your accessories. I really don't think you'll find anything that you can't fit within the cupboards of this home. But here we are, your upstairs TV section behind me, floor to ceiling windows looking down on that marble staircase. You've got your two recliners here, bulkhead ceilings, LED lighting, stunning chandeliers, a window that does open up. So these are doors that open up onto your front balcony that looks down onto that garden. And here, space for you to enjoy a nice TV session. Sit down, kick your legs up, take a look at this incredible house with that sunroof just there over the, over the chandelier and really appreciate life a little bit. I think this home's all about appreciating life, but nothing makes you appreciate life more the name master bedroom, the master suite, where the king and queen rest. And that's about time for us to take a look at that. So let's explore it. And here we are, the master suite. Finally, we come to the room, as I said, that the king and queen rest above me. Bulkhead ceiling, LED lighting, beautiful chandelier, stunning wood flooring access to that front balcony that wraps all the way around to the first guest bedroom we spoke about, looking down onto the front of the house. You've also got a window on my right hand side, space for a TV, aircon, pretty much all the amenities you'd expect in a master bedroom. But another amenity that you'll definitely expect in a master bedroom is heated flooring that is throughout the whole house. And then a walk-in closet, which this home obviously has beautifully lit, tons and tons of storage space, cupboards decked out into that beautiful mahogany wood, that dark wood that matches the flooring. 
But without a doubt, my favorite feature of this house is this ensuite master toilet. Beautifully decked out, not only in stunning marble with the LED lighting, but you've got all the amenities you could ever want. Double vanities, double mirrors, lots of storage space. This massive, massive walk-in shower with all that marble really does make it seem like you're bathing or showering somewhere exotic. You can see the shower unit there has more shower heads than I'd care to count. But if we talk about some other unusual aspects of this bathroom, one, the toilet looks, I'd say spaceshipy. It's a very cool toilet, very interesting. You've got a bidet and then you've got this jacuzzi bathtub. Love it, circular, raised up out of the floor, inset into that marble, all these jets all around it. Windows over here that offers a high level of privacy but so much lighting into the house that it really does make it feel open and airy which I think is super super important for ensuite bathrooms. Really you want to make them as bright as possible but still keep them private. This checks all those boxes and really does also make it comfortable. But it's now time for us to take that journey up those stairs and find out what's on the rooftop. Let's go. Now, coming up another set of beautiful marble stairs, you find yourself heading off onto your roof area. Not a lot of mansions in Bedford View have their very own roof patio, but your one does, your next one does. So let's close this door. And let's talk about this roof patio. So there's a couple of cool features here. You'll see there is a solar geyser. There are also solar panels, so don't worry. This home is already set up for off-grid. Yeah, you can see that stunning skylight that the chandelier hangs from. That's above your uh, double staircase, your double marble staircase, because this here is a mansion in Bedford View. 15.9 million rand. Take a look at the view behind me. It is, without a doubt, incredible. But another incredible view would have to be the one in front of me. You can see all of Sandton City. You can see pretty much as far as the yields let you. There's Joburg, Joburg Tower, an iconic, iconic piece of the skyline. This is a mansion for 15.9 million rand. If you would like to be the next owner of it, what I'd like you to do is contact the estate agent, Michael Pompa from Pompa Realty. All of his details are on screen right now. Don't hesitate i don't think this mansion is going to be on the market for much longer but for everybody who tuned in to take a look at what better view has to offer thank you so much we're going to be exploring this area throughout the months to come so don't miss any episodes on the home shopper shows we're airing mondays and fridays at 8 p.m thank you so much once again to everybody who takes part and thank you to everybody who has a hand in creating these shows we love you we'll see you next time my name is chad rivera so this is the proud property home shopper show goodbye